Hello Internet. The snow is gone and the weather is getting warmer. The apple trees are showing their first blossoms and the mailman dropped the big package at my doorsteps. Today I will present a short video about unpacking the Genmitsu CNC model Provar XL4030. We will also have a short look on to the delivered accessoires and the delivered software. Further on I will talk a little bit about my purchase decision as well as the scope of delivery and the quality of the machine delivered. Those of you who follow my channel, which is probably a very few of you, may be familiar with my CNC prototype self-built. In fact, two and a half years ago I was very impressed that you could build a CNC machine with interesting capabilities for the hobbyist using cheap hardware and Arduino-based software. With 3D printed machine parts and some additional simple materials, I created a usable CNC prototype. Even a replaceable 3D printed tool holder system was doable with my basic CAD software skills. But now I was faced with the question of upgrading my machine. This means adding stronger motors, a stable axis suspension, neat cable routing, a more organized, safe electronic setup and much more. All in all this meant a considerable investment of time and money and I say this in front of the background that I already created a CNC prototype and had some experience in this area. Ok, there are very good existing open source concepts to copy. This means much less time investment as you don't have to develop your own concepts. Examples are the mostly printed CNC by V1 Engineering. Looking at DIY CNCs we are talking about a typical expense between 500-600 euros at the lower end and 1200 euros for a normal CNC build, which is also roughly the price in US dollars. And to make it clear, I'm talking about an entry-level machine for a hobbyist. Or for example, a German development, the Volksfräse by Uncle Phil. Look at the YouTube channel Uncle Phil, link in the description. This is a very interesting DIY CNC. I really suggest that you have a look on this if you are thinking about building a CNC machine. You will find links to all examples I mentioned in the video description. And regarding to the Volksfräse keep in mind beside the use of the metric system, Uncle Phil's videos are in German, but there is a translated subtitle available in YouTube. But now let's come to the point. In the end I decided to go with the Genmitsu 4030 Brewer XL. Since my time is very limited and as a hobbyist I have decided to spend the money on a new machine. Out of a new series of machines in the lower mid price range, let's say in the 1000 to 1500 euros price range. According to my research, the machine had good reviews and an interesting price performance ratio. Also the machine can be upgraded with other expansion kits, for example an engraving laser can be installed, as well as other optional add-ons. Let's take a quick look at what's included in the package and the scope of delivery. I will also briefly discuss the software that comes with the machine later on. The Genmitsu 430 came well packed and it was shipped with a box within a box. As you can see the machine is easy to set up and the pre-assembled module of the XYZ axis and the already set up cable management reduces the effort and assembly time a lot. The pre-assembled spindle motor has 300 watt 
and this is fine for PCP milling or smaller hobbyist projects. If you need more power, you can change to a more powerful router. There is a bigger router bracket in the package and you can use it for example with the optional Dewalt router. The machine has a typical C-beam layout with a beefy C-beam frame. It has a lead screw drive system and a dual screw drive for the Y-axis in combination with Precision Neymar 23 stepper motors. This is quite a powerful setup. The machine has ready installed XYZ exit limit switches in addition, emergency stop switches, speed control via the controller and a Z-probe is already part of the delivered set. Therefore, the package comes with everything you need to start milling out of the box and includes all the accessories and components you need. The control box is completely redesigned and is very compact compared to other CNC setups. The controller is working with GRBL version 1.1 software, which is a low cost but effective alternative to parallel port based motion control for CNC milling. The most important control buttons for boot, emergency stop, motor speed control, unlocking and pausing are located on the top of the controller and easy to access. The cable management is clean and compact and because it is pre-assembled very easy to install. In addition, I use the optional offline control module from Genmitsu with LCD touchscreen and an SD card slot. Therefore, I prepare my model on the computer using my CAD software and store the G code file on the SD. Now I go to the CNC, insert the file in the offline module and start milling. No computer needed at the CNC machine. The only drawback is that the controller is a bit small for my fingers and the cable from the offline control to the CNC controller is quite short. The machine out of the box can be used for cutting, drilling and carving operations on various materials including wood, MDF, plastics, foam, vinyl and also aluminium. One of the reasons for me to choose the Saint Smart CNC is that it is part of a bigger product framework, which includes the possibility to buy additional upgrades and add-ons and accessories for this machine. For example, Saint Smart provides optional upgrade kits for the Pro Far XL4030. If you are looking for a larger machine, there are two upgrade kits available. In addition, Saint Smart offers a laser model with fixed focus that can be connected to the controller. The mounting plate for the laser on the Z axis is already part of the base CNC package. The supplied USB stick contains, among other things, a version of the GRBL CNC control software Candle, with which G code programs can be run on the milling machine or the CNC machine can be controlled manually. To do this, the supplied USB driver must be installed on the PC or laptop, which simulates a COM port. Then a connection can be made between the computer and the CNC controller 
via USB and candle can be used to control the CNC machine directly. In addition to the software, there are also example code files on the USB stick and an additional manual for the machine. Okay, let's take Okay, let's take a quick look at the included software and manufacturer support again. There is a dedicated web page with various content and resources for the Brover XL4030 on the Saint Smart website. I will also add this link in the description. There you will find, among other things, the contents of the USB stick that is part of the CNC package delivery, in addition further information and resources that are offered by Saint Smart related to the machine. For example, an update guide to setting up the CNC machine, instructions for the candle software, a manual a CNC bit selection guide and a lot more. I find the information provided very helpful and I think it's good that the most important information has been compiled and made um, available together. I now have a first impression of the delivered quality and the scope of the setup. Perhaps I should add that I'm not sponsored by Saint Smart in any way and bought the machine with my own money. But I think you get a good value for your money, even if it is still a hobby machine. And you shouldn't set your expectations too high in terms of stability and speed. All in all, it is an interesting platform that will probably help me to realize many of my ideas. That should be enough for today and I hope the video will help you to get an impression of the machine and my decision making process. If so, please like and subscribe to my channel. This helps me a lot. Let me know in the comments what you are thinking and if I missed something. If you have questions, Please insert them in the comment sections and I will answer them if I find the time. That's it for today. Have a nice and peaceful day. Thanks for watching.